Okay, are we done with the sad parts of the story or do you have a... Yeah, no, and now that you've just mentioned Katie Halper, man, she can pull guests out of... like. I mean, the guests that she brings, she is truly terrific at getting the right guests at the right time. I mean, it's it's oh, amazing. She, yes, yes, it's amazing. And she had uh, somebody on who, uh, you know, personally... I was just so happy to see. I, I almost like jumped in uh, my chair. She had they Zena Lucy Lawless Zena the Princess Warrior. You watched Zena when you were a kid, right? No. <laughs> oh come on, man! It's uh, <laughs> sorry to disappoint you a, once again. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, they had. Yeah, I. This is ridiculous. In the, in the Stephen. Shit? <laughs> no, in the Stephen Donziger part, there's this part where as if like um, Cornell West is being kept like on the bench or something. She's like, Cornell West is here. Let me bring him in one second. <laughs> He's like, she's like, as if it's like as if you have such a good team that you keep like some star players even on the bench or something. <laughs> and she brings them on and there are like five of them. <laughs> there should be a commentary on the whole thing. Cornell West sitting on the bench right now. People have criticized Katie for not using Cornell at the right moments in the game. <laughs> but he's bringing on now. Oh, yes. He's changing. He's putting on, he's taking off his bib and putting on his kit. Okay. We're gonna see. Okay. We also see Adolf Fries on the bench. <laughs> yes. He's the putting on his shoes. They bought. <laughs> yeah. He should be making an appearance later on. <laughs> Chomsky couldn't be because of his recent, uh, you know, because of his recent injuries. Yeah. <laughs> man, it was ridiculous. Oh my god! No, but Lu- yeah, man, Lucy Lawless was like, I, I love this. Like, I love that Katie's finding out all these awesome, cool celebrities like James Cromwell. And by the way, if I could make a suggestion, because Katie Alper seems to get everybody. Get Brian Cox. He's also a super awesome lefty and he's funny and all that. James Cromwell. Um, yeah, Lucy Lawless, the sexiest woman alive. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, just, oh, Brian uh, yeah. Cox, She's the physicist, the British guy. No, not the physicist. Oh. Brian Cox, the actor. Oh, and the, she, yeah. the, the <laughs> That's the first thing. Oh, too, no. the old guy from what's it called? From um, Succession. Succession. Yeah. yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. And and from a, a lot of like Brian Cox is a goddamn legend. He was in Troy. He was in uh, he, he's been in too many things to name. He's a uh, legend. Uh, so yeah, uh, it was great. It was I, I mean yeah. And I wanted to mention uh, Zena is from uh, well Zena uh, yeah. Miss Lawless Miss Lawless I don't know she's from New Zealand and I was yeah that's a sexy accent right there. <laughs> <laughs> all right okay so now that we got the sad part out of the way the inappropriate well, well, part no, out we, of the I way think too moved on to <laughs> yeah. yeah now let's move on to the fun stuff. To... <laughs> no this was yeah, the inappropriate yeah. middle ground yeah, okay go on <laughs> oh right you're right this was a bit i'm sorry by the way if i'm objectifying i don't mean to do that they talk about the real issues by the way it was just fun to see a celebrity, you know, talk about uh, real important issues as well. It was just a personal, you know, thing I had since childhood. <laughs> so I was very happy that those two things happened to overlap. Uh, but yeah, um, uh, so yeah, no offense. Uh, uh, and then there was this whole uh, debacle or farakas, as I like to call it, since you remember the whole, what was it? The whole uh, Top Gear thing, farakas. Watch Top Gear a lot, so I I must know what you what are you referring to exactly? Oh, the, huh? the, the, at the end, the guy got fu- uh, what's his name? Jeremy Clarkson. Clarkson. He got fired. Yeah. yeah, he got fired over Frockus, and Frockus was like a word that I had never heard before. Well, I haven't and since then. <laughs> I haven't uh, heard oh, that word either. <laughs> all right. No, in England, suddenly everybody described it as a Frockus, and then it suddenly became. I think it means sort of like altercation or something. I don't know. But there was this whole thing between, uh, like, some... Uh, there, uh, do you want to give a sort of an overview, or should I just jump in with that? You can. I mean, uh, how, up, um, pretty much all I know about is 
um, Glenn Greenwald tweeted this little short, included a little short video of Hassan Parker. That's what you're, you're referring to, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a short video of Hassan Parker where Hassan Parker pretty much says, actually, I'll put the video right now so people can see it. But he pretty much is like, he makes it seem like, you know, you people asking him about Julian Assange and he doesn't want to talk about it. And it's like you right wing kind of obsessed people with Julian Assange. But I'll flash the tweet right now and the video so people will see it. Exactly. Bro, that why are you not mentioning hero Julian Assange being extradited? What the fuck is wrong with you? Assange stands on the internet are some of the most psychotic weirdos that it's just like, just stop, okay? Just be normal. Just stop. Do your fucking weird thing at the Jimmy Dore stream, okay? This is not the Jimmy Dore stream. We do a bunch of different content here. Go, go hang out with like weirdo fucking fascists, okay? And then the Vosh yeah, yeah. part, I have no I idea. So that you have to set it up. All right. And I, to be honest, I didn't look into it too much because that's the point I want to get into it. Yeah, Hassan Piker said something, but then he responded and he said, I talked about it earlier, later. I don't know. Uh, I wanted to talk about two things. Sorry, sorry. Two things. What Wash said was far more worse, that party. He said mm -hmm. something to do with, I'm okay with uh, Assange uh, being like killed or something. Jesus Christ. If it's is something like it. it was disgusting but it doesn't matter it doesn't matter my my first point is that first of all glenn what are you doing man go take down the south american republic or something <laughs> what are you doing wasting your time with like losers that are like doing eight hour they're playing video games well i don't know they're also commenting on political economy Sam, of Sam. ecuador uh, and so what are you doing man Sorry, go ahead. Before you would like to come back on this later, I don't think you're saying that people who play video games are all necessary losers, right? Just giving you a moment no, to no, clarify no, 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 that. No, 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 no. I play video like games. That. No, 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 no. I am you just playing, mean Hassan Piker playing... specifically. I mean Hassan Piker and Wash or yeah. anybody who's doing this. I'll, I'll get to my second point <laughs> as well. Uh, and I, I mean, by the way, I don't know if I'm. I'm an idiot on a lot of matters too. I think these people are also idiots in these matters because they have no expertise. But I genuinely do think it's a waste of Glenn's time mm -hmm. to like he's he's finding this bullshit. Like who gives a shit? shit? You you are somebody who brought down the Brazilian government, <laughs> man. Go focus your energy on like I don't know Glenn. Canada and reforming there. I, like Glenn should be <laughs> like I don't know if I, if if I was. Like Glenn should join forces with Cornel West and Adolf Freed and just, just, you know, attack different government level entities, not yeah. wasting their time with some shitty commentators like myself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, anyways, but, just, but that Sam, was for me. That was the main point. You're saying this because you think Glenn is like us. Like if I were to put out that tweet and that would probably take half my day. But Glenn, it probably took him like half a second to do all of that. So I don't know if it really counts as waste of time. If you can, Fair I don't know how quickly he puts out these yeah. tweets, but it's insane. I don't know how. Uh, yeah. Maybe yeah. Maybe this is his way of uh, letting off a steam from his actions. Yeah, exactly. you know, fight against corruption. Actually. He was on his break. Yeah, maybe. But still, I do think like just quickly, like seriously. Anyway. But they, like that was the thing, though, because at first it seemed like maybe it was a genuinely important story or whatever. So I looked into it. Sadly, that was a waste <laughs> of time. Man, I watched a bit of the wash thing and I watched a bit of the ass and Piker. Have you seen their shows or the tweet shows or whatever they're called? I know, like they're just stuff like flashing in front of their screen, like comments and stuff, or they're playing little games Man, too. Oh, my God. I've never felt so old. I felt like a millionaire's old. They are, they are, there is the video of them. Then there is another video. Then there is all these people chatting. And then there is these fucking animation dogs and animation birds coming. And they are like, oh, and then there's these noises. There's these noises. Like they're talking, they're making commentary about something while playing yeah. the video game. And then there's this noise coming. Man, if you have a schizophrenia or something, there should be a disclaimer. They should definitely be a disclaimer. I, Jesus Christ, I was just like, I don't know. I felt like a million years old. I'm just gonna, you know, probably move to Florida soon. No, Fuck this. man, Twitch is, uh, is probably one of those things I know the least about. Like, 
out of platforms and places. What was that noise? I don't, what, know, I don't know what those noises. noises. <laughs> I don't know what noise like you're referring he's to. He's talking. <laughs> I swear to God, he's talking. And then suddenly it's like a whisper of the oracle of the ancient <laughs> Greek. Like, <laughs> and you're like, what, what should I pay attention to here? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. So, All yeah, right. So I, your first okay, point I, is that why does Glenn waste his time with someone like Hassan Biker? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, or, any, or, point. or me yeah. then, or something. let's move Splendid on to your second point work, uh, <laughs> oh it was my second point was that what has happened to our children as as the conservatives <laughs> like to say what is twitch i don't understand it and please somebody help me i think i'm yeah i think i'm old now officially yeah. like proper old <laughs> yeah but I mean, did you generally do you have any better understanding of what the fuck is going on there because i was generally just shocked no 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 idea i mean the, the thing that shocked me the most but that was maybe that's only the destiny one that when destiny was having a debate with um well debate yeah with professor wolf he was also playing a game yeah. simultaneously so he, <laughs> he also had that too like he was just playing one of these but by the way, there's this crazy world of NFTs and games and stuff like that that I should explain to you um, later on. Someone was telling me a little bit. So people are actually making money of playing these games and you have to invest at first. But yeah, that's separate conversation. Yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I did understand like people love watching other people play and shit and pay the money and stuff. And I can completely understand that watching that as a form of art or whatever. I think gaming is art. I think ga ga games are art. They are interesting types of art. But it's just this whole thing. It was very schizophrenic, man. It's <laughs> well, I don't know. Yeah, I, I this know. Twitch yeah. thing. I'm not talking about gaming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, the last thing on Assange and stuff. Yeah, I felt. Uh, yeah, you know especially relating to the fact that I'm realizing how old I am, was uh, watching Katie Halper and the, uh, sorry, Randy Crinico and um, uh, Roger Rothels. Uh, yeah, I felt far more at home there yeah. because it was basically two old men, just like us, kind of, shouting at each other, mostly cutting each other off and mostly to agree with each other, not to disagree. Like pretty much like our shows, like camp, yeah. camp, stop, stop, stop. I want to agree with you. Stop. <laughs> no, I. And then, no, no, Sam. <laughs> yeah, I made it like fifteen minutes into that one. There's one point exactly. Like Roger Waters stops him. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm trying to make that point too. I'm trying to make the exact same point. <laughs> no man, I love you. No, I love you. <laughs> No, oh really? Well, it was really good though, man. That one was really good. Like Andy Crinico and Roger Waters, I think both make good, real good points about as very as very uh, lowly individuals are the viewers. Uh, what can we possibly do to make the world a better place? And it's always awesome to see a celebrity like Lucy Lawless, like um, uh, James Cromwell, Brian Cox, Roger Waters, that are you know, artistically so talented and also like are actually good guys. So it's awesome. But yeah, yeah I highly recommend watching that for the fun of watching too. Uh, I mean, if, if you like us speakering <laughs> over things we agree, I think you like them uh, as well. It was so much fun. And he's so cool. Roger Water is so cool. I mean, he talks about Trump and he's just, oh, he's amazing. He calls him a fat prick. So, yeah. <laughs> 